In the quest for a healthier lifestyle, many have turned to artificial sweeteners as a guilt-free alternative to sugar. But research is shedding light on the potential dangers of these sugar stand-ins. Artificial sweeteners exploded in the 1980s. I've just been baked with an amazing sweetener with one-eighth the calories of sugar. And now 13 are approved by the FDA, but are these zero-calorie, sugar-free, fat-free choices safe? The World Health Organization says that aspartame is a possible carcinogen. But Shepard also says it would take more than 20 diet sodas a day to have an impact. However, we may be consuming more than we know. You're allowed to put it in food, and you also don't have to actually indicate the total amounts that you're putting in the food. Dr. Stanley Hazen is part of a new study in the journal Nature Medicine detailing the risk of the sugar substitute erythritol. We show that erythritol provokes heightened clotting risk, things like heart attack and stroke. When healthy volunteers drank a soda with erythritol for four consecutive days, their plasma and blood levels went up over a thousand fold. So where do you find erythritol? It's really popular in keto diets. If you reach for that keto ice cream, that pint of keto ice cream can have literally 30 to 50 grams of erythritol in it. And after you eat that for the next two days or more, you'll be at at least double the risk for a heart attack or stroke. Erythritol has been granted a status called GRASS by the FDA. What that means is it really didn't have to have a lot of safety studies. Frankly, I would argue that erythritol is more dangerous than drugs that we, we take. The American Heart Association recommends that people limit their intake of artificial sweeteners. Dr. Hazen is calling for more studies and a change in regulations and labeling so everyone can know what they're eating.